DNA polymerase 1 recognizes ribose versus deoxyribose in front of it. So when DNA polymerase 1 runs up against another primer sequence, it removes the RNA segment and continues synthesis, creating short DNAs that are complementary to the lagging strand. So we have discontinuous synthesis with a gap. In the meantime, another primer is being generated and extended by DNA polymerase, and this is a cyclic process that goes on for the lagging strand side of the replication fork. The DNA-RNA hybrids that are created during replication of the lagging strand are called Okazaki fragments after the scientists who discovered them. It was not initially understood that RNA was essential for initiation, but the detection of RNA-DNA hybrid fragments in vivo was a very important clue to the mechanism of replication. So DNAs are created that have gaps that need to be sealed, and there's an enzyme called DNA ligase that ligates the two segments together to form a continuous strand. So anywhere there is a 5' prime to 3' prime gap in the backbone, ligase can seal it so that you end up with a continuous strand of DNA. What you see with lagging strand synthesis is a continual priming, extending, chewing up the primer ahead of the polymerase and ligating. And the process repeats. Prime, extend, remove primer, ligate. So that you wind up with continuous strands for both sides of the replication fork. It's just that the mechanisms are different. And in a little while, we'll add a layer of complexity to that.